Welcome to the fourth installment of the Bust Nut Guy Saga. Let's get straight into it. It was all a joke. That's so unpleasant. My phone is going to die. You said three minutes, it's been like 30. Are you serious? As others have said, you are doing God's work. I've decided to eat healthy and go to the gym instead. All the best. What? What is this? I am coming from approximately 40 minutes distance. What's wrong now? Why are you not coming? Met another chick instead. What? So rude? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Keck, absolutely based. I cannot even begin to comprehend how based this is. I found another girl. I wish you unhappy, bad life. Sorry but I'm not looking to get involved with any trans girls. Excuse me? Yeah, just not for me. I'm not trans. I think I'm just turned off by the whole situation. I've never been more offended in my entire life. I've never been into trans girls. Is this a joke? Where does it say in my profile that I'm trans? Cause I'm not. Are you kidding? I'm so sorry, holy shit. I'm super self-conscious now, you like legit thought I was trans? I'm not transgender, but okay. I've never dated a trans woman before. A trans woman? Oh damn, I'm sorry, that's my bad. I don't really know how you could mistake me for that. It was just some of your features but don't worry, it was my mistake. That's super offensive, you just made me very self-conscious about my looks. Hi, are you trans? What on earth gave you that impression? Are you saying I look trans? Wait, you're not? No, I'm just offended, do you try this on all girls? In February, everything would change for our noble hero. A journalist wrote an article about him. The media feared the power of busting nut guy. Holy fuck boys. Ian has hit the news for real. Incel's vile scheme to stand up Aussie Tinder dates. One Australian man has taken it to the next level, sharing conversations with his many devastated victims. In some cases, the woman waited more than an hour after already traveling long distances. He also shared several examples of targeting trans women and promised to share a new thread on the topic. Unsurprisingly, fellow incels were full of praise for the vile scheme. I kneel. The Southern Poverty Law Center described the subculture as part of the online male supremacist ecosystem that is included in their list of hate groups. Well, I'll be fucked, it's real. Finally, he's got the fame he's always deserved. We are the frontier of high-tier journalism lads. We are the New York Times of basket-weaving forums. Well, that was a heartwarming story. But unfortunately for Ian, the women in Australia were becoming aware of his antics. So he decided to chat fish women in Asia and Africa instead. She was left stranded with no money to pay for the taxi. I just arranged to make it up to her by taking her out for lunch going to stand her up again played me like last time I don't understand anymore thanks for wasting my time again very very based and on I should start doing the same thing Kek. where are you from I'm from China my condolences what the fuck is wrong with you you tell me to meet up with you then you go silent okay sweetheart you sound so sweet Did you manage to find a car spot? Nah, I left. Oh, how come? Are you there yet? I'm here. Are you still coming? Our date was meant to be half an hour ago. Aussie Giga Chad Fish strikes again, Kek. Tell her that you got stung by a bee, so you can't make it. I told her I got stung by a bee. This is the fucker that stung me on the penis. If you're not coming in five minutes, I will leave. Fucking hell, a bee just bit me. Ian, bees don't bite people. They sting people. How far are you? Sorry, I don't want to be rude but I just realized you're transgender. I'm not trans. You're not? Where are you? Fuck off. Enjoy your taxi ride home. Fuck off. Dude, when are you showing up? I left. Wait, what? Dude, what the fuck? You look different from your pics so I left. When did you even show up? Do you ask and go out on dates with trans girls just to ditch them? A 
it's fine, dude. I'm gonna go home, even though I never fucking saw you. And I just cross-checked with a friend. I was like, do I look different to my pictures? No, so fuck off with the catfish thing. I'm sending 11 Kenyan whores to a resort in Mombasa right now. I've got a Kenyan woman driving one hour then crossing a river on a ferry. She's crossing the Mombasa right now. They are saying you're not in this place. Please, why would you do this? I have never wronged you. Ian then asked people on Discord to edit a picture of him to make it look like he was in Vietnam. Send me photos. Where are you? Here I am getting napalmed. This excuse was one of his masterpieces. Little did we all know that there were still many great chatfishes on the horizon. Where are you? I left. You look way fatter than your pics. Wow. You come or not? Hello dear. Are you come or not? Waiting. I'm getting butch vibes. I'm going home. What? I'm here. Are you still coming? Nah, I left sorry. I just realized you're transgender. You are quite rude. Fucking awesome. The hero we need in these trying times. Give me the copy pasta for the Al excuse but modify it for Kenya. I'm in a bird watching group and I recently heard news that a super rare ostrich had been spotted in the wilderness, so I had to drop everything and head out. I won't be able to meet you today. Are you for real? After this long journey? Not my problem. So we can't meet? Fuck off. But why waste my time like this? I can't believe this. You've made me use my money for transport and wasted my time too. Many of the African women threatened him with witchcraft, trying in vain to put curses on him. Lol, you're two hours late. I'm lost. Forget it, I found another girl. Why are you doing this to me? Remember this one from the third video. Here it is. I'm here, where are you? I'm here. I left. You're one hour late. My hero. Godspeed and on. Godspeed. Are you playing with me? I take so long waiting here. Are you kidding me? Hey, what the fuck? Where are you? You fell for my trick again. Enjoy your journey home. Did making me get dressed and waste money make you feel good? Yes. Two lesbians stood up at a bar. One traveled 40 minutes. This place is a bit shit. Hello? I will tell my grandchildren tales of your skills. Fuck you. Fuck your mother. Hello? I'm here. Where are you? Are you even at this hotel? I feel so embarrassed sitting here, waiting for you. May God reward you for what you did to me tonight, Brett. Still coming? Nah, I saw you and left. You look fat. I'm scared, in here very dark. Please pick me up honey. Where are you now? In Africa, apparently it's tradition for women to be half an hour late, Ian sure showed them. To be honest, I'm not really into woke chicks. Woke chicks? Tattoos, purple dyed hair. Why the fuck did you take a screenshot? Why? Standing up a slut tonight, what reason do I give? Pitbull attacked you. Sorry, I can't meet you because a big black pitbull attacked me and bit my cock off. Fuck. You. Did the other journalist ever release any info about you? She's been asking for an interview. I'm arranging something where I'll try to stand her up. I wish that I could turn back time Cause now the guilt is all mine